Morning, man. Morning. Oh, Laurie, from now on, um, York will have smaller portions. Well, now that you've set the wedding date, you need to watch what you eat so that you can fit into your wedding dress. Actually, Yoke, I want to discuss something with you. I know you're going to deny that Shen and Ella are... Oh, not this again. How many times must I tell you? I'm just trying to tell you that I'm fine if after the wedding, you... I what? You can have someone who makes you happy by your side. What? Are you suggesting I have an affair? Why not? If Shen can do it, so can you. You are my daughter. Your happiness is of utmost importance to me. So if Shen can't make you happy, you should be with someone who can. And I don't care who you choose. As long as it's not that policeman. Matthew? Well, what's wrong with him? I mean, not like I'm even considering what you're suggesting. He's not someone you can control easily. He will jeopardize your marriage. Well, I have news for you. Matthew will never have an affair with a married woman. And I will never cheat on Chen. So what whole sports is a big chain. They only want to renovate one small corner, one small shop. Forget it, a waste time only. You never heard the saying, uh, lay the long line to catch the big fish. They might get us to renovate all their shops after that. I prefer to catch the big fish straight away. Guess UH is looking for bits to revamp Good Faith Park Hospital. You should try. We're so kuching corrupt. They never gave us a job. You think Shelly Holdings was already so big when it first started? It's all about connections. You forgot who my ex-sister is? Sam, remember what I taught you about business? It's about connection. Exactly. See? Even handsome knows. Hey. Hi. Free for lunch today? Um, I know someone who could be. Ella. You really want me to? I'm still not sure I trust her. I don't know if I trust her either. But we have to make this arrangement work, don't we? Maybe just meeting her once will help. I suppose so. Okay, I'll call her. Yo. Have a good day, okay? See you. Reception? Yes. A call first thing in the morning. That's good. Did you come in here for something? I just wanted to remind you about your fitting this evening with Aung Shantili. Oh, yeah, that. Well, I forgot to tell you. I, don't, I think I'm going to skip it. What? Well, I received some designs from a friend. I'm thinking of flying over to have a look. Flying over where? What friend is this? To Manila. My friend from business school, Daniela. She has her own label. Yo, this is going to be the wedding of the year. You can't simply show up in any gown by some unknown designer. And so last minute, well, I just told her I'm getting married. Well, if she was a designer of any repute, she would have known about this wedding. We will stick to Aung Shantili. She's the best. And you will be there for the fitting this evening. Do you understand? Planning to crash the wedding of the year? What's it to you? I heard Jessica really gave it to you yesterday. How would you know? You weren't even there. I have spies everywhere. From what I heard, she downright humiliated and insulted you. It's a waste you're not with the police force. You're not going to do anything to prove her wrong? There's nothing to prove to anyone. Maybe it's time to give up and do what you want. And stay away. Zara. Is Chi Amina coming over to give you a massage today? Are you asking or is Rosati asking? He just wants to make sure you are taking care of yourself. You're lucky to have a husband who loves you so much and he cares about everything that you are doing. Zarif, you should learn from Razali how to be a good husband to Ilya. I hope by this time next year, I will be carrying two more grandchildren.
Good afternoon, James. How are you today? Oh, you're, you're not avoiding me. Why is that? I'm meeting Chef Valencia Adinas. Oh, uh, you know Yoke and Shen are set a date, right? Chill. I'm meeting Shen to clear things up so I can move on with my life. I want to move on, start afresh. And it's thanks to you I finally see the light. The project is too big for us to handle. If you're worried, we can always slap out. Bro, you never know if you never try. Hey, Hark. Rickson. Hey. hey, James. What? Maybe you can talk some sense to this guy. Hey, I'm making a lot of sense, okay? Ask you, do you know anything about the Good Faith Park Hospital revamp? Well, it's a multi-million dollar project. That's all I know. Whoa, heard that. Multi-million, ah, good for a company. Which KSUH project isn't multi-million dollar? I still say we should bid for it. No way they will award us a contract. What do you think? Oh, it's, a, it's a long shot. You'll be up against the big boys. I still think that's gross. You and Yang are such polar opposites. Even your taste buds disagree with each other. I'm only here because Yoke talked me into it. Shen, there is something I have to tell you. But it's really personal, so promise you'll keep it to yourself. One night, I was with a client, and there was an incident. What happened? I had no one to turn to. Except Yang. He came over, no questions asked, no judgment. That night was a wake up call. I made up my mind to quit sugaring and sort out my life. It also made me realize that it's Yang that I love. I know it must not be easy for you and Yoke, and for that I'm truly grateful. I appreciate your candor, but it's going to take time for me to trust you again. Here's to taking the first step. Excuse me, repeat that. Is there anything I can do to increase my chance to win the tender for the JFPH revamp? Look, if you want a tender for the project, by all means. But I'm not gonna pull any strings. It's unethical. Don't expect any special treatment. Is that the way you talk to your big brother? That's the way I talk to potential tenderers. One tau hui, no sugar. One sugar milk, no ice. One ice cream ball special takeaway. That will be three dollars and sixty. Your change forty cents. Thank you. Please come again. Thank you for waiting. Looks like Handsome's got everything under control. Yeah, he's getting better. Mm. But I paid you just now. Sorry, sir. You haven't paid yet. I definitely gave you the money when you took my order. No, you didn't. Forget it. I don't want to change out. That guy is too anymore. much. Um, I saw it with my own eyes. He hasn't paid yet. You're not gonna intervene. So Hurry now up. or later, uh, Handsome will be meeting such unreasonable customers yeah. like him. No, you haven't paid. You order one chubby milk, I want to sell. It's not in the system. That means you haven't paid. Two dollars and sixty. Oh, you can relax now. You passed the test. I almost failed. I almost go and keep poor. No, it's not easy letting go. You'll get there. Remember, I am picking you up from school today. We are gonna shop our socks off. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Can you try and sound a little more enthusiastic? Hello? She hung up on me. You're going to have a bouncy castle at your wedding for the kids? Kali will love that. We're gonna have a live band also. Nice. And a 50 men kung pang trip. 50 men? Wow. Yeah, my parents and us to make a lot of noise for the wedding. Right, Sam? Definitely. 
Kenneth, you and the kids are going to KL for Zari's wedding, right? I wouldn't miss it for the world. It's going to be very big. All our family and friends will be there. Our Ilya's relative are flying in from all over the world just for it. And if you are lucky, I will be carrying babies from Zara and Zarif next year. Hmm? <laughs> Lunch over? Yep. How did it go? Not as bad as I expected. You were right. I'm glad I met up, Ella. Glad it went well. Ella said Young was helping her through a bad patch. She's quit sugaring because of it. That's great. Young's good for Ella. I'm starting to believe she won't sabotage the arrangement. It might just work out. Oh, um, hold on. I've got another call. It's Matthew. You gotta go? No, I rejected it. Fiona or Yoke? Who's got you hung up over her this time? Um, just a bank asking if I need another credit card. <laughs> I've never seen that look of rejection after a credit card sales call. Look, Matthew, Fiona's gone. Yoke has announced her wedding date. I'm this close to registering you with the dating agency to help you out of your relationship rut. Snap out of it. You hear me? It's complicated, Goma. I've got time. You know what? Don't waste your money on dating agencies. There are plenty of dating apps. Maybe I should just download one. I'm sorry, Daniela. I so wanted to fly over to Manila for a fitting, but you know how mothers are. I'm so sorry. Okay, see you. I forbid you to wear the outfit. Don't forget, you're a Shelly. You can't be dressing like some riffraff. What if you bump into some reporters? <laughs> Avoiding Matthew? He thinks that Sean is cheating on me with you. And you can't tell him the truth. He wouldn't understand. Is Mr. Policeman the reason why you're looking so tired? <laughs> it's not just him. Louis is MIA, Hawk is bugging me, and Jessica is going on about the wedding. It's killing you. I get it. Yo, when was the last time you did something for yourself? You bent over backwards, pleasing everyone, trying to make everything work. It's your turn to take a break. Do whatever you want. Don't need to care what Jessica Shelley thinks. Go, go to Manila for that fitting. Wanna throw him off? If there's anything I'm good at, it's at shaking off a client's suspicious wife. Weird flex, I know. It's better to leave him be. So, what's good to have here? There's this new cafe I've been dying to try. It's vegan. Wipe the look off your face there. We humans have been exploiting animals for food and everything else for way too long. It's about time we put a stop to the cruel slaughter of all living things. Okay, I'm in. You've sold me. Serious? Yeah, yeah. lead the way. Ella, I see that you're becoming a regular here. Don't you think it's time to let go of the past? I mean, there's no point in avoiding Lux when you're just across the street. Who knows, we might even get into business together one day. I'd love to get back into the fashion line. Gotta go. See you later. I can't wait to try on the gown too, Daniela. Okay, I'll send you the flight details. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Okay, see you. Why are you still going to the Philippines? I thought that we already decided. You decided. I really like the gown that Daniela designed for me. Yo, don't pull a Lewis. I'm not. I'll be contactable. And anyway, you're always going on about how this wedding is as important as my career. Well, this trip is going to be for my wedding. So, 
Technically, this is a work trip. And I yoke ignore me when I went to see her just now. So yeah, yeah, just because she's a shady. What's the point of having connections, man? Hello? Yes, Mr. Tan. Huh? The whole project? Of course, Ken. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for your trust in us, Mr. Tan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bro, the Hall of Sports job just got upsized. Budget's ten times as big. Reno for the whole shop, bro. Mm. Oi, I know this is not as big scale as JPH, but this is something we've never done before. At least these guys are giving us a chance. You chase JPH, they also don't want us. Another phone call to Yoke, Mr. Policeman. Your attempts are pretty pathetic, don't you think? Hey, welcome back. So, what did you end up getting? Nothing. I told you, those ethically conscious brands are expensive. And I thought you really shared my views about saving the environment. I am trying. But saving the world should not make me bankrupt. I agree. Of course you do. <laughs> the store by the office sells a recycled t-shirt for like a hundred bucks. It's called up cycling. It still doesn't justify the ridiculous price. It's an accurate reflection of how much it costs to hurt the environment. I think it's worth the price. <laughs> you think so, do you? Of course, it's just money. You need to learn the value of money. We'll start by cutting your allowance. Shen is the most button-up stick in the mud ever. But he'll come around soon enough. I'm glad you got through the yoke, though. It's going to work out for the four of us, especially you and me. Young, I'm really glad to have you right now. I thought we were taking it slow. We don't have to anymore. I'm totally fine now. You're sure? Positive. You don't have to treat me like a porcelain doll. I won't break. I know for sure what I want now. Nothing's holding me back. No need to tell me if it's a from Uncle Ashton Boss. <laughs> Thanks, Hansel. Mm. Bye. Hey, I was wondering how's Ella doing? Better. Thanks. Thanks for your help in getting us together to talk. Everything okay? Not really okay. But not really not okay. Anything I can help you with? It's just my business. I feel it's getting nowhere. One small job here, one small job there. How to make it big. You think of something. I know you. You can accomplish anything once you put your mind to it. You think so? I know so. I better go pick up Maxine from her grandmother's. Bye. Bye. Hello. Vixen. I don't care. I'm going to try for the JFPH revamp tender. What about a sports shop? We can do both for it. Hawk, we're not going to get JFPH for sure. Don't waste time. I'm sure we can get it. All we have to do is put our minds to it. Sorry, ma'am. You have a visitor. So late. Who? Laurie, you really shouldn't be letting anyone just... You. Haven't I made myself crystal clear? I just want to say a few things and I'll go. I give up. Okay? Not because I think that you'll be happier with Shen or because I don't love you anymore. But because... If you choose me, the Shelleys, especially Jessica, will make sure you regret it. And I won't make 
you choose between your family and me. So have a good life, Shen. Lewis owes me big time for this. It took a lot of smoothing to make it happen. I'm sure he'll be very grateful. Why isn't he answering my phone? Oh, he's uh, working on an investment deal overseas. He didn't mention that to me. I know very little about it myself. Lewis says it's all very PNC. Bet it is. Hey, look. Michael Chan is going to be installed as the co-chairman of the company, and Lewis is supposed to hold a press conference to announce Michael as the co-chair. Great. We can do that when he gets back. Oh, and uh, by the way, I'm flying in tonight, so I'll see you in the office tomorrow. Oh, okay. Bye.